Hey guys, welcome back. It is me, Cyrus. Today we're going to be talking about some English translated bangers for the Super Famicom. These are games, ROMs that uh, were only released in Japan, never got English translations, but now we can finally enjoy them. The first game I want to look at is a game called Albert Odyssey. Now, I've played Albert Odyssey for years on the Sega Saturn. It's actually a really cool tactical RPG, JRPG, and it's really phenomenal music, great graphics, really cool anime style. And what I never knew was that that game was actually the third game in the series. And there were two games before it that were only released on the Super Famicom in Japan. Now, that makes the one on the Saturn the third one. And it actually started as a Super Famicom game before it was eventually finished for the Saturn and released that way. Now, the first two games, never really been able to play, never been able to enjoy because they've been in Japanese. But the first game does have an English translation. Finally, some fans have got together and really done a good job translating the first Albert Odyssey to English so we can finally enjoy this game. And what a game, you know, what a series. This is a, a series that's released by Sunsoft and really shows off the capability of the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. Um, Sunsoft, obviously known for some amazing games. In fact, you might be more familiar with Sunsoft from the days of the NES and the, the early days of the Genesis. This game, the music was actually composed by the same person who did the music for games like Fester's Quest and Batman on the NES. Just a very accomplished composer. Um, yeah, Batman on the Genesis, Batman on the NES, Journey to Silius, Gremlins 2, Super Spy Hunter, Batman Return of the Joker. Tons and tons of just awesome games. Um, and uh, did the music for this one, for Albert Odyssey 2, and even the one for the Sega Saturn. So, yeah, there's a very strong lineage um, for uh, this composer. This composer has done a lot of awesome stuff. Yeah, I really love the graphic style of Albert Odyssey. Like I said, it looks great on the Saturn. But here on the Super Famicom, it, it looks just as good. It looks, <laughs> looks phenomenal. There are so many amazing Japanese RPGs to play and to discover. And with the hard work and dedication of people who have been converting these things into English, it finally makes some of that possible. So, yeah, I'm going to get quiet for just a minute and let you listen to some of the music and watch this opening cinematic for Albert Odyssey on the Super Famicom.
As you can see, this has got a very dramatic story to it. So Albert Odyssey, just fantastic. What a great way to game. You should definitely patch this game if you can. Play it on your emulators or on your EverDrives or get you a repro cart. Do something like that. Definitely worth playing. I'm not going to spoil too much more of this story for you. I mean, it's just getting started. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to play through this and hopefully we can get that second game patched. Uh, if it's not already patched, and I'm just not aware of that, but uh, I'll definitely be doing more coverage of this game and this series going forward. Because, yeah, Albert Odyssey, um, just amazing and great on uh, Super Nintendo or Sega Saturn. But we have a lot, a lot more to look at, so let's look at some more games. Okay, the next one up is a really awesome... RPG action RPG game uh, that was only released in Japan called Alkahest. This was released from Squaresoft and actually created, developed by HAL Laboratory, the same developers who made Kirby, believe it or not. This is a very good, very good looking sounding uh, action RPG and definitely worth checking out. It's pretty surprising to me that this wasn't officially released in America because it is freaking badass. 1993 saw some awesome titles that never made it to the shores of the United States. And it's a damn shame because uh, Alkahest is definitely one of those games you're going to want to play if you've got an EverDrive and you want to try out this English patch that's available for it. Um, so yeah, check out the people that created this English patch. If you get a chance, definitely worth, uh, seeing what they're all about, what they've done. And let's check out a little bit of Alkahest and you can see what this game is like and how it sounds and, and why I'm so excited about it and why I think it's so badass. Music is just fantastic. Now, I will say that the Sega Genesis does have some epic RPGs and action RPGs. It absolutely does. Some of the best. But I will tell you that the Super Nintendo, especially when you factor in the Super Famicom games that are now being available through translations, 
uh, and the PC Engine, same thing. The those two, yeah, they just really did focus more on this type of game, this type of genre, than the Genesis did. Um, so yeah, and then that carries over in the you know the Sega Saturn is another great console for JRPGs and strategy RPGs and things like that. Um, and this type of game, and, and this is actually an action RPG. So yeah, um, Super Nintendo has tons of these. Genesis has some too, but yeah, just I don't know. The the Super Nintendo library is just really fantastic. And I'm so glad we're finally able to experience these games. Thanks to the efforts of these great people who have translated these games. So you can see this is just an awesome game. <laughs> you just want to keep playing. It's very addictive. I love action RPGs like this. Let's check out something else. Okay, the last game we're going to look at is from 1996. And again, never released in the United States. This is an RPG called Arabian Nights. You might have played Arabian Nights on the NES. This is a completely different game, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, and uh, pretty good art style. I think it's actually not too bad. 
to help me look at this game and talk about it a little bit, because it is a it is a game that I'm not really that familiar with either. I thought it would be fun to have somebody else here to just share her thoughts about what she thinks about it. So, uh, welcome my daughter to the very first time she's joined me for anything since I've started YouTube back in, I don't even know, 2014, 2015, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, what do you think? Arabian Nights. What do you think this is going to be like? Um, so I, from what it looks like, it looked like a RPG game, so. Uh, Should I be naming this character my name? It's a girl. Isn't that kind of weird? Go for it. <laughs> All right. Keep them on their toes. It's 2023. <laughs> All right. There we go. So the artwork is like, uh, you know, sort of like a cartoon. Um. They picked an interesting font because this this has been translated to English by some fans. This was originally only in Japanese. Have you ever played very many JRPGs that are this style? I played a little bit. Um, you know, I know there was like older Zelda games that were kind of like this. Along with, uh, you ever played the, like the Final Fantasy? Yeah, the Final Fantasies. Yeah. They were like this as well. Uh, but I didn't play a lot of many, like many of them. Um, but the main two were Final Fantasy and Zelda that I was more familiar with as far as the style and everything. Look at the way they did those two characters there. That's more like a like a traditional JRPG anime type style. I mm -hmm. think. How dare you, you fool! Do not get upset, Ifri. Okay, I can't read it. It's going too fast. Prepare yourself, old man. Do you realize how foolish it is to challenge me, King of Jinns? Well, I shall show you. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have a Super Nintendo, or was did we did was it mainly like you started with like PlayStation and stuff like that, or? Um, you know, I think some of my cousins they had a Super Nintendo, right? But I've never had one personally. But when I would go over there, like I would play Super Nintendo with them. I believe. I think it was. I can't remember you ever playing a, my Super Nintendo. I remember you borrowed. You like you took the PlayStation 2 and I never saw it. <laughs> and you, you took my GameCube. I took the Dreamcast. You took the Dreamcast, yeah. And Sorry. then you took the Wii U. I got the Wii U back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember playing Sonic and Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast all the time along with Night and um, a couple other games. Nights, yeah. Nights. And then I played the uh, updated one. I think it was for Wii. Yeah, we. I still have it. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. And I remember playing that late into the night, just playing it all night. And you just be like, "You're still up?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> well, you know what I like about JRPGs is it's it's sort of like reading a book. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a deep story with a lot of characters and you really get involved in these things back whenever i was younger i used to spend you know we didn't really have the internet like y'all do now and i used to spend hours and hours and hours playing rpgs um i know you like reading books and stuff mm -hmm. um so that's why i was wondering like how many like if you were if you had played a lot of, of rpgs like this or if you we're interested in playing RPGs like this because there's so many awesome ones. Like, I played a couple of them. Like I said, it was mainly um, Final Fantasy and Zelda. But, um, and it's funny because, like, sometimes when I think of RPGs, like, with books, I always think of those, what was that book that you got me? Where you pretty much select a path and it kind of. Oh, yeah, the like the, you choose your own adventure mm -hmm. type stuff. Yeah. So, like, I think that was uh, something that kind of, kind of got me into those kind of books as well. Uh, it's hard to find those books now. 
Yeah, they're not as, I mean, with, you know, technology and everything's changed a lot. And, uh, you know, a lot of those things are still being made, but they're only released on like, uh, like, uh, you know, the tablet stuff, the digital, uh, you know, eBooks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But they're just not as popular as they used to be. Yeah. Plus, you're older. You're not a little kid anymore. <laughs> so you don't go to school libraries. No. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been to a book fair. Oh my god. <laughs> just be, I have the hype for it, but I don't think. <laughs> it might be weird to show up. It'd be very weird. <laughs> some randomized <laughs> or, uh, elementary school and be like, I'm just here for the book fair. <laughs> just want a book, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> What was that Eddie Murphy movie where he jumps into the backyard and he goes, I just want some chips. Oh my gosh. It'd be like that with the book. I just want a book. I just want a book. <laughs> Sorry, we're not talking about the game at all. <laughs> this game looks pretty cool. I mean, we haven't seen much gameplay, mm. really. Well, any gameplay. We've just been watching this opening cinema. But it's got some pretty cool detail in it. Yeah, it really does. Even, like, the transformers. Like, he just... Super Saiyan bit, but you know. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get to the gameplay pretty quick here. Mm -hmm. If you don't have patience for cutscenes, don't play RPGs. That's what they are. It's one big long cutscene that you interact with and grind to get like experience and weapons. Yeah. And what's funny is a lot of people don't play a lot of, like, the newer generation, they don't play a lot of RPG games because they're, uh, pretty much impatient. Yeah, they don't, the attention span. <laughs> you, like, they want to skip through everything, and it's like, you're skipping through it, but you're going to miss a lot of information through the story. Like, you're, yeah. like you said, you're watching a story happen in front of you. You're learning information, and there's small things that you can miss that can kind of confuse you in the process of trying to go into the next stage within the game or trying to complete certain missions in it as well. So I think that's a lot of, uh, I think that's why they resulted in the transformation of Final Fantasy going into like going away from the RPG. Um, Paper Mario, for example, you know, they still have certain RPGs as well um, with the Mario series. A lot of people don't play them though because again people don't like the rpg style but it... well, well those people are stupid <laughs> don't say that because <laughs> rpgs are awesome i don't care <laughs> but yeah like um even with the game boys and the 3ds's you know a lot of those games with the zelda they were rpg and i enjoyed it um People don't want to look at it and admit it, but Pokemon, they're RPG. Oh, the Pokemon stuff is always going to be, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be huge forever. Well, they change, they're starting to change it now. The newer Pokemon games? Your uncle, my my brother, Manon, he's, uh, he tries to keep up on the Pokemon stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know much about those because I don't really play those, but he's he said the the latest one he got was really good. Really? He got the OLED switch like I got. Oh man. So he's he's been real happy with that. I'm gonna have to look at those games because I heard they got really good reviews on them. Um, well, I, you know what else they have on the Switch is they have a lot of uh retro style RPGs like these yeah. too. I bought um a new Star Ocean that just came out not too long ago on the Switch that's made with like old style graphics but mixed with newer 3D type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm eager to f get to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So if this is a, a genre that people are interested in, obviously, then I think there's plenty of re released games, reimagined like retro style RPGs, and then just new like RPGs. Mm -hmm. All right, we got two people in our party now. Nice. So what do you think about the style, like the, the shading and the color usage here? I mean, I know it's an older style and you're used to the newer stuff, mm -hmm. but um, I'm curious what you think about it. Well, like I told you before, we have a conversation while watching um, and or like the color schemes and how it matches the environment as well. Um, 
Of course, they're gonna have like a sandy yellow kind of style to it, but they kind of try to match with the culture along with that. And then the blues and the reds to kind of emphasize that kind of pop out target thing, like the accents and everything. Um, so, of course, visually, I pay attention to that because my art, like, I yeah. like looking at that and paying attention to it because um, they kind of give the environment a little bit more um, personality, I guess. Um, even the slight pink in her hair, you know, they kind of give her more of a personality with it. It's like, but it's just a small little accent I like. Even the uh, frame around the text, whatever, that, uh, the fonts pop up. I like how they do the design for that as well. But Super Nintendo was able to do translucent colors mm -hmm. which you'll see with like the shadow you see how like she walks in and out of the shadow like mm -hmm. that and they could do some effects like that so this is a 16-bit console and they could do some effects like that on the, the other 16-bit systems mm -hmm. uh, but super nintendo had a much higher color palette than a lot of the other ones did yeah like um because they could only handle making certain number of colors yeah well. yeah technology was simpler back in oh look at that i can switch my character oh that's cool i love it when they let you do that in a mm -hmm. game that's pretty cool it's funny because um in one of the tech schools i was in in high school i think we had to from what i remember we had to learn how to make uh characters like that like um, learn how to do the top layer as far as like how the clouds are or the shade from the clouds are moving we had to learn how to do that on top of making a uh, another layer of for the character around everything like that um it's at the time from what i remember it was like kind of frustrating doing that but now doing it is a lot easier to kind of do it but just the process of it. Like, watching this kind of gives me, like, the ideas that I used to go through and, like, knowing how they do this. It's kind of cool, like, watching it. And I think that's why I like the older retro games, because... Yeah. Well, you know me. I pretty much... <laughs> I prefer all this old stuff. New stuff? I don't know. It, there's some good games out there, some new newer games that are really good. But, um... You know, I, I, you know, I'm an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, son. Ah, oh, shut up! What do you know? <laughs> Get out of here! Who asked you? Go, go lay down. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm like wandering around. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get out of this town so I can get into a battle. Well, did you make the mistake that we were talking about? What? Did you did you not read? The... I have not been reading. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. I should have been reading. Damn it! <laughs> Exposed. Okay. Red-handed. This is taking a stroll, huh? I guess so. <laughs> what do you eat to bogle? Oh, That's fine. I've already been in there. Protein. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Darn it, the old man can't tell me anything. Gotta go by the door. Those guys won't let me out. Sheesh. Nobody's in there. Nobody's home. Jon Snow's coming to watch what we're doing. <laughs> Permission. Oh. Without official permission. Oh. 
Well, we're going to bite the bees. Please let us through. Is that so? Tell you what, give me another necklace and you can pass. I don't know about that. But it's my mother. It's all I have left of her. Then you're not going anywhere. What a jerk. What? Oh. Ooh, that is weird. That takes care of them. Now let's go. Ah! Well, that's okay with that. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh my gosh, this is exactly how Final Fantasy is. Yeah. Oh, even the. <laughs> right. You haven't played very many games like this. No. How does this work? Okay, there we go. This is a turn based uh, JRPG. He's pulling out the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Ah. So this is, okay, so it looks like the battle system is going to be pretty deep in this game. Yeah. You've got different cards you can do. I mean, I don't know how many teammates we're going to be able to get. So far, it's just these two. Uh-oh, we got a tech the bunny rabbit. It's a sand bunny. Oh, Marvel Knights. Yeah, get it right. The Marble Mouse have been endured centuries of oppression. They didn't need you sitting here belittling them, calling them a sand rabbits or whatever. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe it was like um, Monty Python. You know? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh no! She's down. It's all right. We'll get her up. We'll get. We'll get out of here. Get out of here. Down pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not the best I've seen, but it's pretty good. All right. So how do I? Let's see. Got magic. No magic. No magic. She can't. She can. You got Tams. Can you go in and buy uh, items? That's or... cool. Ooh, I got a diary. Dang. Ooh. Reader diary. I wonder what she's writing about. Oh, there's a herb leaf. There we go. So now she got 180 hit points. See? Now we can do more fighting. It's strong. You got like 220. Let's go down to the grass down here. And... This will be the last battle we do, and we'll wrap it up. Oh, we gotta fight two of them. Uh oh, it's pulling some crap. Damn, that towel hurts. Isn't that a wet oh. towel or something? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. Ouch! Oh, nice. That's that dark elemental stuff yeah. he's pulling. Okay. I need some of that dark elemental stuff. Yeah! Got yeah. Six experience points, got six pounds, got part five three. Oh yeah, we gained a level. Gained a level. Oh, he gained a level too. Heck yeah. What's his name? Ifrit? Ifrit. 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 Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you so much for joining me. No problem, anytime. All right, guys, that's three awesome games that have been translated to English, brought to you by me and my daughter, and I will have more soon. So check them out for yourself. Uh, look up, the, I'll put a link in the description where you can find some information about translations, and I will see you again soon. Y'all take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>